The next method is of manipulation that is used upon us by the sorcerers of consciousness is the control of our mass media. The information that we get to hear <clears throat> through mainstream channels on any given day, the mass media, companies like CNN, CBS, NBC, ABC, Fox News, Time, New York Times, The Washington Post, these are all tightly controlled hierarchical systems of scientifically crafted information dispersal that can be summarized under one word, propaganda. These are propaganda corporate entities. They are pumping out a world view, a vision of seeing the world, a way of seeing the world that the people who own these entities, which are approximately now five companies, want us to perceive the world. So these are the disseminators of the mind control through society to get people to think not for themselves, to not get people to learn how to think, but to tell them what to think. And you'll hear all forms of negativity, all forms of violence, uh, of, of dog-eat-dog -dog world, of man's hatred of other men, of, of rioting, of natural disasters, any kind of fear-based mentality that they can pump out into the culture through the media, they will do it. Because it is all about keeping people in fear. Fear. At least that isn't happening to me. I better shut my mouth and go along and just do, keep my head down and just do what I'm, what I'm doing. Don't think about things too much. Don't question things too much. Be glad with what you have, that it's as good as it is. Because look at what's out there. Keep people in fear. Make them think, it's, it's great that I even have what I have now. Because they'll never really think about how they're spiritually impoverished, morally impoverished, uh, psychologically, mentally, and emotionally impoverished. You keep pumping the modality of fear into them. And if that isn't working even as good as you like, you have distraction, you have, you have sports, you have celebrity, uh, 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 um, celebrity worship and celebrity um, gossip. It's, this, this isn't even news, this is pure distraction, this is uh, uh, dissuasion to get people to look the other way. You know, um, get them to pay attention to something that's really utterly meaningless so they're not really seeing what's happening to them. And being uh, uh, people like this in the media, on these uh, conservative talk shows, on these um, really, uh, they're really just pumping out a worldview that the state wants people to think. And um, essentially, all these talking heads really are, are parrots. They are parroting an official version, an official worldview, an official storyline the movie, as the researcher David Icke calls it, to get people to see this version and this vision of the world, but never really think about it in their own terms and with their own mind. Just accept what we've told you. We're, we're the repeaters. We got it from our higher-ups, and we're just reading it. We have news readers, yellow journalists, news readers for the state in this country. We don't have a free press. We have a tightly controlled press that are news readers. They're parrots for the official state propaganda. Unfortunately, that's what we have in the mainstream media. This is changing through the alternative media, however, which I'll talk about in part three. Adolf Hitler understood how important the control of the media was. He said, through clever and constant application of propaganda, People can be made to see paradise as hell, and also the other way around, to consider the most wretched sort of life as paradise. Because that's what the media is there for, to keep people asleep, and to keep people afraid, in fear consciousness, so that we are a sheep looking up to Big Daddy for protection. That's what it is designed, scientifically designed to do, to the consciousness.